Alright guys, ADHD here, back with another video, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, you guys don't know the drill, drill, camera rotational behind the back, through the legs, behind over here, back with another video. And today is going to be a very, very interesting today, because today, today is going to be something, a Nerf product that is not on the market, you can't just go to your Target, you can't go to your mom's Walmart and get this product we have here today, and it's a Nerf product that I've been waiting for for a long time, took three weeks to ship, but it's finally here, so we're going to open that up for you guys right now, and we're going to be testing it out, to see if it does exactly what we, what, what, you know, we're going to also be making it modifying and making it dangerous, of course, so we're going to see how that works, so hit the like button right now, but you guys know the drill. Right now, on your guys' screen are three different options, the heavens have erupted into a Nerf Civil War, and you are on the front lines to lead a team in this Nerf, the most gruesome Nerf battle of all time. And you have one person you're gonna meet up with to help you on this conquest to defeat the opposing team. And he's gonna have Nerf grenades too, because that's what we're gonna concept today. So this is who's gonna be on your Nerf team right now with the three options on the screen to hit the like button and join the notification squad if you aren't, and join the army right here. This is the army you wanna be a part of right here. Hit the like button, if it ends with an even number, odd number, or zero, this is what person you're you're gonna get to help you on your quest today. Here we go, we're gonna find out who you got in three, two, what? Let me know down below. Will you be able to win this Nerf Civil War? Do you have the skills in your heart? Do you have the skills, the fundamentals in your brain? Let me know down below how you're gonna win, who you're gonna, you know, if you're happy with the person you got, you know, if they're gonna be helpful or at all, or if it'd be useless, you know, kind of, you know, depends on the person you get, basically. But anyway, we're gonna start the vlog right now in three, two, one. Oh wait, I got a Nick box, so. If you guys are new here, you probably don't know what this is, but this is a subscription box that I open every single time it comes in. And if you're new here and you don't know like, like Nickelodeon, then you, you know, you're really, really new here. But it's basically, with the Nick box here. We're gonna open this up right now, and then we're gonna start with the vlog. Three, two, one. After the Nick box. All right, guys. This is the Nick box. Basically, it's a subscription box with random Nickelodeon stuff. And you guys know the Nick shelf is not there right now, but it's still being constructed for a new Nick shelf, better Nick shelf. And basically, I get the subscription box every single like quarter, and I always forget about it. We both always forget about it until it just shows up in the middle. And I'm like, oh shoot, there it is. And this box is amazing. This says the Nick box news, and it has Tommy's ball on the front, got Ren and Stimpy, got all types of stuff. We're gonna open this up right now and see what they sent us. Are Quarter. All right, let's get this plastic wrap off. And the boxes are so cool. I always want to keep the boxes too. And this is not sponsored. Like they're not paying me to do this. I just think it's a really awesome product. And me and partner have talked about it before. I don't even really care about subscription boxes. This is the only one that's actually worth the money every single time. I have to agree. He has to agree. I have to though. Like, He's paid to agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Right here in three, two. Well, actually, I'm gonna show you one thing at a time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this card. Tells me everything in here. The first object. Okay, it's a notebook. Oh, oh. dude, that's. So so sweet. Notebook says Tommy's ball is a notebook. And you know what that is, Parker? A Do you normal know what that screwdriver. Is? That is not a normal screwdriver. That is Tommy Pickles' famous screwdriver. A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Put the clip right here. A baby's gotta do. What a baby's gotta do. Okay. <laughs> a baby's gotta do. What a baby's gotta do to a screwdriver right there. This is Tommy Pickles' official screwdriver right here. It's got some weight on it though. Still squeeze that real quick. You like that, don't you? <laughs> I kinda <laughs> do. Yeah, it feels real good. <laughs> Alright, that's that. And the next up we got a little pouchy pouch. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay, okay, Rocco's Modern Life something. So it's like a, like a little coin purse. Yeah, a little coin satchel. Not a coin purse, I'm a fucking <laughs> man. Okay, Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot. What? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! It turns into a freaking real bag. Oh, wow! That is that is some weedles. <laughs> That is really cool. And then you just stuff all that shit back in there. No more paying 10 cents for a bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That is cool though. So this is a bag. Rocco looks like Mar Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. That is amazing. Okay, next item. We got some kind of, oh, it's a blanket again, I think. This Ren from Ren and Stimpy chilling in a puddle. What is it? This is a bath towel. That is a very obscure bath towel. <laughs> oh, cool. it's shaped like the bathtub. Okay. Oh, okay, I see it. It's shaped like the bathtub for Ren and Stimpy and Ren's just sitting there. This is a Ren and Stimpy bath towel. That is amazing. I mean, it's not like the most cool thing they've ever sent, but it's really cool. It's still better than like probably the best item in like a loot crate. The next up, we got a little. Oh no! I saw it too. No, I didn't. I just... What? Oh, rocket power fingerboard, dude! Customizable rocket power fingerboard. That's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Holy crap! This is a good fingerboard. You know, it's a crappy one. Wow. Wow. Some real grippy too on it. Dude, pop a kicky. If you guys are new here, the reason why we flipped out is I do, and we've done. A lot yeah, of fingerboard stuff, out. huh? We flipped out. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> so we did a few fingerboard videos that were new here. Fingerboarding is kind of a thing I do. So as you guys can see, watch the kickflip break. 
Oh, baby. A finger flip rocket power. Rocket power action power. So right here, this is the rocket power fingerboard. That is freaking sweet. It's customizable. It comes with stickers so you can customize it. That is just, see, this is just original and just cool. That's why I love this box so much. Every time it comes, like, it's just, it's one of my happiest times of the, 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 the gourd. Because, like, everything's just so unique and cool. We'll leave it to make a look. Okay, next up. Oh, dude, that's, that's amazing. awesome. It comes with a crumb sweater and these little arms. Eyes. His eyes come out of his hands, just like in the show where he can hold his hands. His uh -huh. eyes. He's able to hold his eyes. His eyes. And he has his body. hairy armpit. And it has hairy armpit. That's amazing. So you can wear the shirt. I'm gonna put this on. Oh yeah. And then you can hold his eyes just like he does. Dude, that's really cool. Put an image. That's so cool, dude. That's so comfy. That is the next uh, ugly sweater contest winner. Yeah. I see what you did there. Ah. <laughs> it's crazy because wherever you put the eyes, it does make the face. That's crazy, dude. Kind of creepy. That's really cool, though. <laughs> That's amazing. I love this so much. Like I said, always original items in this thing. Next item. We have a pin. Ready, set, go. <gasps> oh! Ow! Oh! It's a Reptar. A purple Reptar pin. That is so cool. It's a purple Reptar. A Chase Reptar pin. That is amazing. Holy crap. That's so sweet. That's going on something. <laughs> That's going to be pinned to something. <laughs> Alright, that was amazing. Okay, next up. I love when it, I already kind of saw what it was, unfortunately. But, oh. Oh, yeah. I love these vinyl figures it comes with. It's a vinyl figure of Stoop Kid from Hey Arnold. We're taking this at the box. If you guys never watched Hey Arnold, Stoop Kid is this kid who's afraid to lose his leave his stoop. He never leaves his stoop. He always just sits on the stoop. And it's a vinyl figure of Stoop Kid. And the reason why I love this so much is I'm going to put other vinyl figures around him on his stoop. Wow, I really like this. This is just like the best. I love this. I thing. wish I could join the Nick box. That sounds really nice. Today. I think you can. I think they, they did resubscriptions. Re re really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll check it out. That seems like really cool. Not sponsored. All right, guys. This is definitely not a sponsor. Like I said, it's not a sponsor whatsoever. It's on screen, not a sponsor. But I kind of want to sign up. Well, it's simple, Parker. How do you tell me how? It's simple. If you'd like to sign up, I'm gonna put the link right here. This is definitely not a sponsor. I'm not saying you should sign up, but it's the Nick Box, and it's really cool. He definitely should sign up. No, it's great because as soon as you put up the video, I'll watch it, I'll click the like button, and I'll also put on the notifications, subscribe, and then go to nickbox.com and order my subscription today. That's how you become a good friend. <laughs> Next item in the list, last item is. Oh, I have like had that face. Like, what is it gonna be? <laughs> Stimpy. I don't know what the soap dispenser. Oh, that sounds cool. That sounds useful. Oh my gosh, yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> it comes out his nose. Yeah, so I don't want to make this work at this moment. I don't want to break it. But it comes out of his nose. This nostril right here in particular. So you push in his head and the soap comes out of his nose. That is awesome. It's almost radical. <laughs> that is amazing. That was an awesome box. And that, that was actually everything in there. But like I said, these boxes are always amazing and a lot of fun. And this link right here. <laughs> hashtag Nick Box. W the w Nick w Box. www.org <laughs> Nick Box. Not a sponsor. All right, guys. So this right here is the Nerf Grenade. It looks pretty complex. Doesn't it? it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> but what it is basically is all these things right here, they come down and they launch nerf darts outward. So basically, all three directions should launch nerf darts everywhere and ever create a nerf grenade. So if you're a nerf war, you should, in theory, just throw this thing in the room, hits the ground, and these things launch nerf darts everywhere and hits all the targets in the room. Hopefully, hits all the targets in the area. So all I have to do is keep all these down just like this. You load them up and you close all the door panels like this. You lift this thing up right here. You open up all the door panels just like that and then you close it down like this. And as any grenade, you just go ahead and put this down like this and you put the pin. So as long as this pin is in, it will not fire. You just put this pin in there just like this. And you can also, like a real grenade, you can pull the pin and as long as you hold down to this hammer right here, it won't blow up. So you can swing around as much as you want can. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen until I drop this grenade and the impact alone will make it blow up. So as you see, pull the pin out, it's ready to go, drop it. It should, in theory, launch nerf darts everywhere. We're gonna try it out now. But as long as there's pins in here, doesn't matter how much impact there is, it won't blow up. So that's the point of the pin. It's like a real grenade. Pretty amazing. Glad they made this. We're gonna test it out to see how well it works. And we're also gonna be modifying it a little bit later. All right, so the nerf darts, regular darts did not fit in here because you're supposed to cut the heads off and make it to where you have a bigger mass, like a bigger blast. But nerf rival drop shots did fit here. So we're gonna try those off and then we're gonna try and cut some regular nerf darts down and see if it works. Ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Dude, dude, I'm pulling those like across the damn wall. I was like stronger than a freaking nerf gun. <laughs> 
But I would say one thing that seems like they all launch one direction, like not like the, the boy band, but like it just like hits the floor <laughs> and it should be hitting them all like this way, but it kind of just launches them whatever direction. I agree because they all kind of went this way yeah. and then they some bounce over this back. So I think you have to have to get really lucky to where it lands just flat, everything just launches equally. But we're gonna try it now with regular Nerf darts because Nerf rivals are a bit heavy. We'll try it with regular Nerf darts to see how it works. And you know what'd be kind of cool is if we can somehow get to work to where like we hit the back and it would be like a big shotgun. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. All right. Guys, a fun fact is it's actually not made for Nerf Bowl, it's made for airsoft shots. But uh, we got a little sidetrack here. We've been trying to make it work for Nerf, and it's been working kind of well. We got a little sidetrack then, you know, I was thinking it was made for airsoft, and you know, nothing here could be done normally. So I <laughs> put giant slingshot marbles into it. We're gonna fill up all these and see what it does. Probably a terrible idea, but you know, it's kind of my specialty, so we're gonna try that out right now. All right, guys, so we're out here, and this just seems like a very, very bad idea for the first time in a long time. I'm wearing my cup. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's how you know. Good old cuppy, good old cuppers. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you know I'm really afraid, actually. <laughs> I don't wear a cup very often. There's only like a handful of videos I'm wearing a cup, but when you have metal giant slugs flying at me, cup's going on. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, a cup and then like the riot shield mask, I, mean, I don't know. I don't think it's be that bad. It's gonna be bad. I'm just afraid of this one. I haven't been afraid for a video in a while, just because these are so random. I have no clue they're gonna fly. All right, you good? Just gotta do I it. can't do Come it. on, just do it. It's okay. It's <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen, man. I mean, like, like you, roulette. we okay, like we might get hit, but it's it, it's not gonna hit it at the velocity where it's gonna hurt. All right, here we go. Oh! Ah! <laughs> what the? Did you get hit at all? I just felt like a wave of pellet. Man, why'd you give me the riot shield mask? <laughs> it just saw it all just went. It was just falling, Parker. <laughs> You're like everywhere near me, man. <laughs> Well, that was a bad idea, but you okay. had the cup and everything. I had nothing. Yeah, see, good old cuppy. I don't wear the cup to take my nut. I wear the cup for to good luck. To deflect freaking bullets. <laughs> for good luck. The good luck cup. Oh, it smells like champions. <laughs> it just smells like a winner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we just tested those outside. Everything seems to work except for Nerf darts. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try these Nerf nipples. So we cut all off these Nerf except nipples. For <laughs> Buy them now at a store near you at a third of the price. Nerf nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody comment down below. Hashtag Nerf nipples. So they have all these Nerf nipples right here. We're gonna stash all these things inside here, and they should work really well. So this will be how we make our Nerf grenade using all these Nerf nipples. We're gonna put them inside here, and we're. Throw it at Parker and see if it works. Oh, yeah. Are not nipples. just at something? Just Parker loves nerve nipples. I, what? Hashtag Parker loves nerve nipples. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna say in this? Nope. Oh. All right. All right, guys. So the target's inside there right now, aka Parker. We're gonna go inside there right now. We're gonna throw this nerf grenade in there and see how much damage it does. If it actually does a good spread, and see if this is worth the money. In three, two, what? <laughs> You can have as much arsenal as you want. Well, I got this thing yeah. right here. This thing. Uh, Take that old uh, room. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're going to do next, we're going to actually modify these and put some X-Acto knife darts in here and see what happens. But first off, we're going to try inside this box without the X-Acto knife and see how it works out. And we're going to put it in slow motion so we can see exactly what's happening inside here. And hopefully everything comes out good. Here we go. Alright guys, so we tried that out and it worked kind of, the slow-mo shows exactly how it works, it has to get an impact, and that wasn't that high of an impact, so I think that's why it didn't blow up exactly when it hit, but as you see, it kind of launches things whatever direction it's facing, so it really has to land like flat for it to shoot it into the air to go everywhere. Uh, we tried that out and it worked out kind of good, but now we're going to do it the exact knife dart to see how it works out and see if some stuff sticks to the side of the box and see how dangerous it'll actually get. Alright guys, so we just got done making some most dangerous nerve darts, we just used just the tip this time, just the tip. We're gonna try this right here. The reason why we use these is because, well, exacto knives are extremely, extremely sharp. It doesn't take a lot of force from just sticking to the target. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and load this thing up with these, throw it in the box and see how much, how many stick to the outside. If any stick at all, if they all fly at Parker again, we're gonna find out right now. Let's load them in here. All right, here we go, guys. It's a very, very bad idea. I'm probably the safest here, actually. Parker has got his arm pretty exposed. Other than that, I think we're good. Gonna try it out. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, man. Oh, damn. Damn, I think it could have been better though because it didn't go off immediately. Did it go off downward? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we gotta try that again. They all just shot downward. It's not really the effect we're looking for. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I literally just saw one zoom right by the camera. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Most of them, I think, launched downward again, but one of them flew all the way over here, and then another one flew so far, I don't know where it went. There's one right here, but like, did it maybe bounce back? Maybe, I think I flew off this and then bounced over here. Holy crap. All right, guys, so that was amazing. Very terrifying. The slow motion footage, I couldn't tell you guys, you didn't hear our reaction, it was in slow-mo, but <laughs> No, we were. I, I, I think you could say we were freaking out. <laughs> One could say freaked out. <laughs> so Parker was like, I had his eyes closed, so he didn't see what happened. But the, I'll have the editor show you guys on his camera a little circle of the two darts I saw that flew. So inside the box, not much happened. But I tell you guys, you'll see in the footage, two darts flew just like this, right by Parker. So like, this is Parker, right? I'm Parker. The darts flew at a velocity I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> right by far. One run right by here, one run right right by his neck. Oh, that's and just good. Cleaned up. I'm like, what the hell? And they flew all the way over to here. They bounced off the damn wall over to this <laughs> over here. Not that shit, <laughs> but this over here. <laughs> I was like, holy cow. I was just hoping, like, I just hope I don't feel pain right now. <laughs> that was terrifying. So we're not doing that again. Um, drop a like for that just in general. Let me know what you guys think of the Nerf grenade. Is it something you guys think that should be bought? Or do you guys think it's kind of a flop? I think it's really cool, but I think it's kind of something that has to land and a very particular way to work well other than that it's just kind of a little bit man i think like if you're really pro it's like a last resort thing yeah like this is like something you carry on your side if there's a room of people that you know you can take down regardless just throw it in there and then go into your gun and go take them out maybe but this should not be your weapon of choice